there, welcome to another episode of Make a Card with Christy. Uh, today we're going to be making a little treat bag um, out of an envelope. So I'm going to be using these two Lawn Fawn stamp sets, Making Frosty Friends and Bows and Holly. And let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is seal the envelope completely closed. And you don't want to just lick it because if you do, it'll be open on the spaces where there's no adhesive and you don't want anything to be falling out of your gift bag. So we're going to just take some glue and just lightly put enough that it's going to close up and then we're going to seal that shut. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and take this Sakura Jelly Roll pen in silver and I'm just going to draw like a snow drift all around. Okay, um, then I'm going to take the three snowflakes from the Making Frosty Friends set. I'm sorry, there's four. I have those mounted on a little acrylic block. And I'm going to take some Broken China Distressing from Tim Holtz by Ranger. And I'm just going to stamp those all over. Okay. So now that we're done with that, I'll just set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our embellishments, which is going to be um, this little snowman and then some of these accessories. And I've gone ahead and mounted those on my Fisker stamp press. And I'm just going to take some memento ink in tuxedo black and ink those up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and color these in with some Copic markers that I selected from my stash and I'm going to speed up this part of the video. Martha Stewart scoreboard and you're going to start on the bottom or it really doesn't matter you could start on the sides but I'm going to start on the bottom and I'm just going to go ahead and score that really good on the one inch mark and then I'm going to turn it and do that same again on the one inch mark and flip it over and do that again okay so now what we're going to do is take a pair of scissors and you're just going to trim off the top, whatever. I mean, you don't even have to trim off as much as I did, it, just enough to open up the bag. And there we go. And now this is the most difficult part of the process, um, getting this bottom to fold in. Get that creased. And then these are going to fold into little triangles and tuck onto the bottom and fold down and then you're just going to crease up the sides where you scored and then we're going to take a little bit of 
glue again. Open that back up. And we're just going to glue down these two flaps. And press those down. And then to get those to stay down, I'm just going to set that down and take something um, kind of heavy. This is my bottle of glossy accents. And just go ahead and press those into the bottom of the envelope. Okay. And there is your little treat bag. Okay. And now we're just about done. Go ahead and put some of those down in there. Okay. Press all the sides in. And when I think I've got that straight, I'm going to go ahead and punch two holes. And then we're going to take a little bit of ribbon and thread that through. Okay. Trim off the ends. Okay. And then I'm going to take this little um, snowflake button here. I just threaded that with some Martha Stewart Baker's twine and um, before I came back up through I added my little tag in the back. I'm just going to tie that off and I'm going to do it a little bit loosely so that it gives the, the tag in the back a little room to move around so we can adjust it, you know, between the snowflake. Um, pattern and then I'm going to tie that in a little bow adjust my bow to where I want it okay that looks good and then I'm just going to take some little mini glue dots and I'm going to pick up one with my scissors and I'm going to kind of roll it up and then I'm going to add it um, right behind the little snowflake little arm of the snowflake where I want my tag to go and I'll just press that there and then I'm going to take another glue dot and add that to the back of the snowflake and just press that into place on my knot and then I can just trim the tails a little bit And there you have it, a nice little treat bag um, filled with, you know, um, little candies or cookies or whatever you want to do. And this I think this would be like a perfect gift for teachers or the mailman or anybody that you need just a little something for the Christmas holiday for. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please rate and subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye-bye.